What's going on guys? First race of the season. You know, Street Outlaw No Prep Team Season 5 is back. We went down to West Palm Beach. It was a qualifier race. Basically, that being said, we had to win our race Friday night to be able to race on Saturday. Also, by winning our race Friday night, we will automatically be in the field when we go to Virginia in two weeks. Kyle's out here right now. He is blowing out the trailer because we are loading the car up and we are taking it over to Cameron Johnson race cars because there is some updates and some changes we are going to be making before we head out to Virginia. But first race was phenomenal. The fans did not disappoint. That place was packed. I was out on the mic. I was trying to talk, entertain the fans. I was hanging out with the fans inside the pits. We had a lot of people come by. We did, and we did way better than what we did at West Palm Beach last year. Yep, last year what happened? We lost the first round. First round. Scott this year we went three rounds. three rounds. We went three rounds. So we're, we're getting better. Uh, we still got some things we want to change. Um, Dad wants the best round stuff. We're going to go testing. Good thing about it now, Kyle, we could test in Florida. Yeah, we can go to Brady's in Orlando now. Yeah, so we're, we are going to test next week. Uh, Cameron's got to change some things on the car, but we've been wanting to do. Um, shout out to Mark Mitzer for sending us a set of struts. We're putting our new sets of struts on the car because these two here are just blowed out. They are just falling out whenever we let go of the button. So we don't want to do that no more. So we're putting new struts on it. Cameron's making some changes. We got a big change coming, but you'll have to stick around and figure out what that is. We will be testing and we will be in Virginia in two weeks. Over here at Cameron Johnson race cars it is a beautiful day nice and sunny out Florida is awesome uh, we are unloading the car as you can see it's already out we're gonna push it up in the slot up there because there is some work that Cameron has to do to be able to get us ready for Virginia one being already shouted him out once but can't thank him enough and that is mark mincer mincer motorsports being able to give us our shocks our struts we are changing those out so we can go ahead and send those back to him so he can freshen them up these things ran all last year but as you can see we got a little bit of leakage we were able to make it by we put some rags and zip ties around it but we need to go ahead and get the struts back on the front of this thing so the car can work at its best potential Going out there, going three rounds. We ran good. We are in the race for Virginia. We have the podcast coming back. We are shooting a podcast this week with my dad, Big Country. So Swan Talk is coming back. We are making some changes inside the car, in the center of the car. We're making some changes in the rear of the car. We're getting ready to go to Virginia and see if we can keep going well. It's going to be our first race. It's going to be our first points race. So this is going to be the one that matters. We got to go out there. We got to try to go some rounds again and uh, keep moving forward with it. But the car will be here for the next couple days, getting updates, getting everything done to it to be able to get ready for the race. My goal is this year is to go out there, keep talking like I'm talking, keep crushing dreams and making my dreams come true. I wouldn't be able to do this without y'all. So I do thank each and every one of y'all that watches our videos, comes to the track, hangs out, has fun and uh just all around is a part of swan gang so do thank you but gonna go ahead and push the car inside we're gonna get out of here i gotta go back to the house camera will get the updates done we'll talk a little bit more about the updates uh later on and we'll show y'all once they're all completed but i'm thinking about like a turbo right there and a turbo right there so maybe i gave away a little bit too much already but well, we are making changes so we can get ready for Virginia. We got the car back over in the shop. We picked it up for Cameron Johnson Race Cars. He had to do some updates for us. Uh, go ahead and let you know now. Uh, we did change something out inside the car. We put new struts on the front of it. We uh, fixed the steering, so the steering's not all off on me. Hopefully this thing will, it already drives perfect, but hopefully it'll drive a little bit smoother because you know, me trying to judge the steering wheel where it's at going down the track, it does make it very difficult. But shout out to Mark Menser. He is one of our sponsors. He's the only shocks that I run on my program. Uh, he got us hooked up with another set of struts very, very fast. So I was able to put those on there because I'm gonna send these out to be able to get them freshened up so we have a spare inside the trailer. Um, Cameron and the guys, they got everything knocked out. 
on the car. Me and Brian, we spent all day yesterday trying to get this thing converted over. Inside here, as you can see in here, it's a little bit different. We did pull uh, the Liberty out of the car. The reason why we pulled the Liberty out of the car um, is because I just feel like we are carrying too much weight with the lockup. Uh, the way the rules are written in an MPK right now, we have to weigh 2,950 pounds, 100 pounds over Ryan Martin, 100 pounds over any other Pro Charger combo out there because we have a lockup. We have not been able to figure out how to make a non-lockup work with the five speed. So that's why we had to put the lockup in, go down to West Palm. Glad we won the round, glad we won a few rounds, but it's just not the faster way right now. So went ahead, I spent quite a bit of money last week uh, to be able to get this set up in the car. Mark Mickey, Eric Dillard, all the guys, uh, Ross, our buddy Ross over to get our drive shaft. I mean, he knocked it out of the park. Everybody got everything to me within three or four days. So I wouldn't be able to do it without them and I wouldn't be able to do it without y'all though as well. But uh, we did get the transmission in the car. Modern Racing got us a wiring harness. That's the one thing I do like about Modern Racing is I called them up. I said, I'm switching from a Liberty to a 400. I need to get a wiring harness sent here to me so I can wire it in the car. I'm not a wiring guy, but I think I did pretty well. I was able to get everything in. Uh, so they did send me everything to be able to send it over after the Virginia race We will be taking the car to Justin's because we're doing a big conversion uh, We're gonna be changing a lot up on prenup for MPK season 5, but they will go through they will clean up all the wiring But I did get everything that's best in my ability to be able to get it in there as you can see I got a little bit of a mess but We'll get that all cleaned up Now we're gonna move to the front y'all seen in the last video. We had an oil issue at the racetrack we fixed it Friday night. Kyle knocked it all out, got everything done. And then number four was uh, was oiling pretty bad as well. So we ran through it. We're going testing tomorrow. So dad recommended we go ahead and fix that so we don't have no uh, horsepower lackage issues. Oh my. Yeah. Oh, we got new get hats, guys. Uh, head over to the website, www.justinswanstrom69.com. Uh, my dad, big country, he's got his own merch line he's got two shirts out and two of his own hats so y'all can go over there and get that we got a new prenup design and we got four or five new swan gang hats on the website so if you head on over there you'll be able to get your merch as well but right now we are changing out rods and pistons well it's not rods we're using the same set of rods that we had because they only got five runs on them but we're changing out the pistons how many runs does the pistons got we got to have the fan in here because if not I fucked the motor up and I knocked the intake off in Virginia. So last that's year, Virginia so. last year. I mean, we got a lot of runs. runs on. A lot of runs on the uh, well, well, rings of pistons. The, the pistons have a, you know, they have an expiration date. Um, the, the, this boosted motor is a lot different than a nitrous motor. Nitrous motor, so what happens with a nitrous motor when they start pinching a ring is around the intake pocket, which is, you can show them the intake on the side of that piston right there. Well, that's your weak side. So on a nitrous motor, it'll start pulling up that intake pocket and it actually pinches the ring. He's talking about right Where, here. Yeah, so with the boosted motor, they don't do that. I mean, they're just two different animals, but what they are doing is it's compressing on the piston. So I think when y'all put these rods in this motor, you had one wrist pin that wasn't wanting to go in. Remember that? Mm -hmm. So it was, it's compressing the piston is what it's doing. So number, number six, I think you guys fixed that whole Friday because it was put pulling a lot of oil around you fixed that one but we didn't know number four was hurt too so we ran it friday night with number six hurt we ran it saturday with number four hurt but what it did do something different here is this is a normal thing for on the lockup and i don't know if they can see this so if if when you pull that rod and piston out if the if the norm on the rod side not the not the cap side but on the rod side normally if the bearing just falls right out you really got to look at that bearing but you can actually see this one here I don't see if they can see. See how wide this bearing got right here? So what it's doing is if you was to mic this, if you was to mic it right here and then mic it right here, you can see it's beat the bearing out. So it's beat, beat it out in the center. Yeah, it's beat out the center of it. The clearance is now the lockup does that. The lockup is very hard. And I, I do run the lockup really aggressive in this thing, but the lockup is usually what will take these bearings out. Now, seeing how you pulled these four out and you didn't have no problems on any of those rods, it won't just pick one. Like if the lockup is affecting the motor, it's gonna pick on them all because the whole motor's running. But what I'm gonna say happened here is that thing was pulling a lot of oil around. You ran two rounds Saturday mm -hmm. and it was pulling so much oil around, I believe it was detonating, kind of like a nitrous motor. 
If it pulls oil around on a, on a nitrous motor, it will detonate and tear the motor up. Um, so I think what's happening is that it's having explosions in there and it was beating on this rod bearing. Um, it didn't affect the main cap. The main cap held in, which is the one that always holds in, but the, the rod bearing uh, uh, on the rod itself, that bearing is the one that takes abuse from the lockup. But like I said, I believe this thing was down some serious power Saturday when you ran Kai Kelly, he was down a lot of power. But uh, I don't think that hole is making much power at all. And uh, it was pulling oil around that cylinder and, it, and, it, and you can see it beat the bearing out too. And it's just, it's not a coincidence that number four has this bearing messed up. So that tells you how much oil is pulling around that. But we're just gonna go ahead and put all new rods and rings. I mean, new pistons and rings. The rods only got five runs on them. So we're gonna put new rings and pistons on this side of the motor. We're gonna go test. We're gonna go run Virginia. That side of the motor seems to be happy. After Virginia, you're doing a freshen up anyway. You gotta put new rods. So he'll put new pistons over on that side, new rings on that side, and then you'll be good to go. The whole motor will be square. I do believe the motor's good over there on that side. Like on a nitrous motor, normally we leak it down and we can see if any of the cylinders got any bad holes. That's a normal thing on a, on a nitrous motor. If you know you got a problem, you can leak that cylinder down. You can know right away if you got a problem in it. These boosted motors, it seems like people don't really leak them down. They just run them, you know, until they show a sign of anything going on, and that's kind of what we've been doing. So, yeah, we just got some pistons that's got a lot of runs on them. They got an expiration date on them. They probably got over 100 runs on them pistons, and, and they're starting to go away is what it is. And who knows, we may go test tomorrow, and it may show its ass. If it does, we'll pull that side of the motor down, and we'll put all new pistons and rings on it. All right, guys, I know we have a mess right here, but Kyle just showed up. He's gonna be helping us out. Uh, me and Dad, we got this thing all back together we are about to fire it up we got everything hooked up inside the car steering wheel transmission uh all the wiring everything's good hopefully this thing does not smoke again uh we did have a bad hole over there y'all seen the bearing it was pretty beat up but already changed the gear looked at everything everything seems to be good there ain't no leaks down there is there good all right, I put oil in it. Got oil in the tranny, oil in the rear gear. Shout out to VP. They got us hooked up with rear gear oil. So finally was able to get it, got it here, and it is awesome. So well, it went in there nice and smooth. We're going to go ahead and fire it up, run it through the gears real quick, and then we're going to load it up because tomorrow we are going testing. All right, ready? Here we go. See if we got any smoke left. Ain't got no gas. Is that what it was? Yeah, you barely primed it. Ain't nothing like broke up there or anything, is it? It's not. Nope.
No smoke. We're good. We're ready to go test it. We're fucking ready. That's all we got to do is we're blow ready. this thing up. Well, I mean, we got about an hour's worth of tools to clean up and stuff, but... I do got a pretty big mess for you. We got to load it up. That's what I get there for missing this weekend. I'll clean the tools up. That's fair. We're good. We got everything ready and we're ready to rock. We got it on the ground. We are loading it up. It's coming to the end of the video. Want to go ahead and give a shout out to our sponsors. For the first one, you don't see him right here, but he is on the door. Hormone Logics. They have helped us out tremendously this year. Um, we're gonna That's go ahead. The thing about the door sponsor, the doors are off half the time. Yeah, doors are off shop. half the time, but when we're on the track, everybody gets to see it. Yeah. But Hormone Logics, check them out, guys. We'll have a link in the description down below. We get to take weight out of the car. We will not be at that weight no more. We got Brian with Bryback Group. We got Cameron Johnson Race Cars. We got Peace Avenue Smoke Shot. Uh, Courtney, she's with photography. She takes all our photos at the track, plus Hitchhiker. We got Straight Line Media, Mark Mentzer. Shout out to Mark Mentzer giving us our struts and our shocks to be able to keep us going. Um, Mark Mickey Pro Line. We got VP on board so we can get fuel, oil, and everything to be able to uh, uh, run this operation. Oh, well, Oakley, she wants us to play with a toy. But shout out to everybody that got us going where we needed to go to be able to get us going. We're gonna go out there, we're gonna see what happens. We got new three speed in the car. We got no more smoky pipes over here. So we're gonna see what this thing does in the next video. But I'm Justin Swanstrom. If you haven't done already, subscribe to the channel. Turn the bell notifications on so when we post a video, y'all can see it. If you haven't done it already, head over to the website, www.justinswanstrom69.com. Pick up your merch. We got one new prenup design. We got five new hats. My dad, Big Country, has got two new t-shirts and two new hats. So, And if you haven't got your tickets already, get your tickets for MPK. We'll be in Virginia next weekend. We got a big grudge race, and we got our first points race of season five, No Prep Kings.